there, Taurus. This is going to be your monthly love synergy reading for March 2017. As you can see, I've already pre-shuffled the cards just to take away um, spinning or wasting too much time shuffling. So this is for Taurus's sun, moon, and rising. And if you're not familiar with how this works, um, I look at the four elements which represent um, earth, air, fire, and water signs love interest for you this month so this is a synergy between you and these signs so first we're going to start with the synergy between you and a fellow earth sign such as taurus capricorn or virgo we have forgiving and learning with the nine of wands so there's definitely it's like a power struggle to um it's like you're going through this process where you're needing to forgive yourself, I feel, because this is an obviously an earth sign energy. But not only that, I feel if this love interest or you had a past lover who was of an earth sign, you're still having to forgive them. Um, seeing, seeing the, I'm getting seeing the highest perspective. Or looking at it from a higher perspective, looking at this experience as a valuable lesson that you've had to learn with this person. Whether you stay together or not, or even if you're not even together anymore. I feel like this earth sign, you're needing to revisit this person so you can heal anything that's still lingering. And it could be a very, um, or has been very trying because we have the nine and the nine of wands, which nine is of completions. It's also... Um, a humanitarian number um, could mean that it requires a lot of compassion, a lot of effort, non-judgment, forgiveness. So definitely it's going to be difficult for you to forgive this person, but I feel like it's very important that you do. Like I said, whether this person is no longer in your life, if you're together with them or not, um, you need to learn from that experience and forgive yourself and forgive that person. For those of you dealing with a air sign, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, you have worth waiting for with the Empress. So there's something that you've been creating uh, with this air sign person. And Spirit's kind of waiting on you to get on board. Um, it's kind of funny that this is coming up. The Empress card, to me, if I have to... Um, like the appearance of a person, like if I had to use this as an example i would say that this would be like the beyonce of the tarot i don't know why that's coming up but it's like if you're whether you're male or female um female taurus male or female taurus you have to see yourself as the diva or the king that you are the queen or the king that you are the empress or the emperor that you are in order to receive what it is that you've been creating and trying to manifest with this individual because it's like maybe you're not seeing yourself in that highest light maybe you need to um boost your own ego again i'm hearing these beyonce references like big ego and um single ladies it's like you gotta see yourself as the as the ish you know to actually go after what you want because it's like these angels they're waiting on you it's like they're cold like we, you know, we're waiting on you to step into this when you're ready. Um, obviously, divine timing plays a hand at this. And even with the empress, it's usually a, depicted as a pregnant woman. And we know it takes nine cycle, you know, nine months to give life to a child. So it's like a process. It's all in divine timing. But I feel like either it's close that whatever you're desiring with this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius person is coming or it's waiting on you to just step in and see yourself as valuable and worthy of taking in this stuff that you've created, the love that you want, whether you're committed or not with this person, or if it's just someone that you're attracted to and you want to step up. The time is now. So there's really no need for you to wait around and wait around anymore. It's like, don't try to keep the baby in the oven when it's ready to come out now. Um, you definitely want to make sure the baby's fully cooked before it comes out, you know, and sometimes babies come out whenever they're ready, but I feel like the time is now for you 
to embrace whatever you've been creating and nurturing with this air sign love interest. For those of you dealing with a fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries, you have let your friends help you with the Four of Cups. Can't really see the Four of Cups because it's like here, but it's a typical um, interpretation but um, or depiction. So what I'm getting here is that you're missing a lot of opportunities um, and the fun. I feel like there is a friendship that could be built with this person first and you're kind of missing it because it's like you want it to be something more than what it already is and spirit is kind of like just see where it goes at, at least give the person a chance you might need some encouragement to step up to this person because it's like you're missing out either way you're either missing out you're on an opportunity to get to know this person to approach them or you're kind of just like if i can't have them how i want them then i don't want it at all instead of building a friendship if you're in a committed relationship i still feel like you're missing opportunities in love with your partnership and you might need your friends to kind of encourage you or help you see things in a different perspective because it's like, I'm bored of this, you know, this relationship. I don't know, like, I don't know what to do to spice it up or something like that. And your friends, especially I feel like a friend that's married or in a good committed relationship would be a good person to consult um, right now. To help you with your relationship to get you out of that state of boredom and not seeing like other opportunities it's like spirit wants to bring in some type of new loving energy in your relationship and you're just not seeing you're not seeing the value within that cup that's being offered for those of you who are dealing with a water sign pisces scorpio cancer love interest you have true love with the three of swords so i feel like um, you might have been in a relationship with a, a water sign for a long time or someone who might have water in their chart and you might have thought that this was going to be everything that you wanted and it ended up leaving you in a, in a loss and you're kind of playing back those memories of what could have been with this person and it leaves you disappointed time and time again. The reason why this coming up, Spirit is telling you it's time to heal your heart. And I feel like a lot of you are needing to work on your heart chakras this month. Um, because you haven't fully healed and you haven't fully released that relationship with that person. You're still beating yourself up about that relationship. So if you find yourself reminiscing about a water sign love interest, it's because there's still some healing that needs to be done. And if you're committed with your partner, um, who is a water sign, you can't have this true love, this um, close bond until you heal whatever needs to be healed. If there's been some some disappointments in this relationship, whether there's been cheating or, you know, some things that have transpired between you or if you're carrying old baggage from a relationship, you definitely need to work on your heart chakra either way it goes, single or not. Um, there's also messages that come with these heartaches and loss. I feel like the messages are like lessons for you. They might be subtle messages. They're not going to be, you know, obviously emails, text messages or things like that. Verbal communication. I feel like these are going to be intuitive messages that come once you heal um, whatever is between you and this water sign person. Okay, Taurus. So that was your reading for March 2017. I do hope that you resonate with this reading or you find it helpful. If it doesn't fully resonate, take what resonates with you. And of course, erase the rest from your mind, your brain, whatever. Like you never heard it. And I will see you next month. Much love. Peace.